What's up, Zombie Slayers? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 21. The hype is still real. I'm still loving this update. We're going to go do some quests today. But before we do, I made some pocket mods. I put one in my pants. I'm going to put one in my shirt. And I'm going to put one in my jacket. There we go. So that opens up a few extra spots down here. Help me get encumbered a little bit less, which will be... Um, needless to say, quite helpful. Uh, being encumbered has been, uh, it's been pretty rough. Um, I've been very encumbered because this Let's Play, I'm just kind of keeping everything, you know? Uh, one thing I've not kept is gunpowder, although I don't think I've got a lot of gunpowder. Oh, I wanted to show you one other thing. Check this out. In my helmet, I now have the water thingamabob, right? Now check this out. If you get that, eat a drink water. There you go, eat a drink. All right. So I'm going to wait until this little drink icon's done before I take it out and replace it with my head with my headlight uh, because I I'm going to drag my headlight around with me until I get a better helmet and I'm it's one or the other. I'll use the I'll use the, you know, water filter when I need water. I'll use the helmet when I'm or the helmet light all the other time basically. Uh, and that's pretty cool. So that's going to help me. I uh, the, the red tea is really nice because the red tea suppresses my appetite a little bit and makes me eat a little bit less food, which is good, but it also takes water, which is not good because I need water for you know, um, glue. So yeah, that's, that's, that's where we are so far today. I don't care about crawling, uh, spear, spears have to cause bleeding damage. Interesting. And, oh, another one craft diamond tip blades. Okay. Dude, I gotta be real close to the end of that mining book set. Get real close to that. So that will be nice if I can finish that. Although, like I said, this is like early access weekend. There's probably going to, we're going to probably have to restart the world at some point. You know, I don't expect to get an auger. Uh, and really the auger is when that, uh, that complete mining quest thing really shines. I mean, it's good before you have the auger, but it really shines when you do have the auger. Oh, what do we got over here? Have I done this place yet? This, uh, eh, I don't know. I have a bad memory. It doesn't look, uh, it doesn't look familiar, but. No, I don't think I've done this this season yet. Go out there. I did put a point into living off the land. So I could kind of come out here. Yeah, let's come out here and see what's what. I feel like a pig's going to spawn out here. So let's be prepared for that. There's obviously not one out here now, but I'm just going to kind of run through here and see if it'll spawn. It doesn't look like it. Okay. Looks like we're okay. So what I'm going to do is, wait, what the hell? There we go. I'm going to go ahead and grab all the potatoes out here. And I'm getting two potatoes per punch now. So the, the, living off the land number one, I kind of feel like everyone should take it. I mean, it's just, I'm not going to grab chrysanthemum. I can get chrysanthemum anywhere. Yeah, I feel like that, I feel like living off the land one is definite, like, is, is, Here's the, here's the deal, guys. I think in single player, farming is not a big deal. Maybe. I'm starting to think farming is not really a single player thing anymore. But it's definitely going to be a multiplayer thing. Because you're going to have a lot of mouths to feed, so... Um, I mean, I don't know. I guess you could do multiplayer without, without farming. But think about it. Like, if you have, like, one person buying from a vending machine, it fills up a certain amount. If you have five people in a multiplayer series going off the same vending machine, it's a little bit trickier there. All right, let's loot this car and then we will set off this quest. All right, I might actually work on the horde base a little bit today. It depends on where this uh, episode goes. Not really sure yet. All right, so where should we have to? Oh, we probably have to go into the barn and then go over that way to the house. Did I come out here and get all that stuff again? Yep, it did all respawn. Actually, you know what? I really should. And the reason I should is because um, once you have one potato, you might as well just get a bunch of potatoes because it's going to take up one spot whether you have one potato or 50 potatoes. Um, I do have to keep a look at my quest marker though to make sure I'm not going too far outside. I mean, I'm pretty much sure I can go anywhere in here I want to without failing the quest. And there we go. There's another one. I'm probably going to miss a couple of these. Please forgive me. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, should we eat now? This thing gives us 50. I'm going to wait a little bit. I like to make sure I'm going to get every little bit of bonus out of it. Okay. 
Stabby, stabby. No one outside. That's good. Hey. Still getting too close to them. Maybe I should turn my, uh, my point of view back. Because I think the reason I'm getting too close to them is because I'm used to the old point of view. But I wanted to... I don't know. Do you like this point of view? Do you think I should uh, change it? Let me know in the comments either way. I think everyone's mostly going to like it. So I'll probably keep it, but... Oh, <laughs> forgot to change out my headlight. That, my friends, is much, much better. Let's see what we got around here. Nothing there. <clears throat> Just kind of taking a look around for loot. A quick look. All right, jumping all around. I don't have any freaking stamina. Uh, nobody up here, huh? Well, there's my there's my supplies. We gotta clear the area too, though. Give me my supplies. At least now I can't forget them. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. Should be fine. Num num num. Oh boy, hold on. Punk ass freaking bird. Ah, bones are bones. What am I going to do? I need the bones. Okay, I'm back up here. Don't jump. Try not to jump. What bad habit of jumping. I remember in this game. I remember in this game didn't take stamina to jump. <laughs> I miss those days. Somebody in here, right? Really? Huh. Quite surprising. And that's a safe I'm probably going to want to break into. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Get some stamina back. There you go. I do like being able to hit through the doors. It's pretty cool. All right, one, something I'm wearing needs to be repaired. Ooh, five steel. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah, bro. Uh, repair. I do like the fact that it tells you when something needs to be repaired because I'm not going to ever notice it unless the game tells me in my UI or something. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it. I mean, that's just the way it is. Medicine. Oh, two medicine books. Wow. Really good medicine cabinet. I'm already going to be encumbered. That's okay. Uh, I'll leave it. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna take almost everything. <laughs> so I was gonna take everything, but I just, you know. Sometimes it's just not feasible. I don't need that. I didn't get any glass for that. No. Okay. Very nice. All right. Pick up a bunch of stuff. There we go. That's what I wanted. Pokey pokey in your face. Nothing out here, right? I thought I heard something. Come on, Big Bertha. Time for you to go bye-bye. Right, oh, a purse. Good looking purse right there. Mm, I will start saving the canned food. For future, you know, recipes and, and things of that nature, but yeah. <laughs> okay, what do you got? I wonder if I'm getting close to the mini bike. I'd really like the extra storage of the mini bike. I'm not gonna lie. I I definitely don't need that. Uh, scrap those chairs. I specifically picked them up just for the wood. I don't need the drink. Scrap. Uh, these are all the same, right? Oh no, mine's worse. So... This is the one I'm using. And this one's worse. Should I sell that? Or scrap it? Uh, maybe I should save it for... Oh! Equipped, repair, scrap, drop. Okay, so you don't need these for uh, the recipes. Okay. I'm gonna scrap it just to save room. I didn't sell for that much. 
And it wasn't that damaged, so it's not like it was it was not gonna suffer that much because it was damaged. Yeah, I wasn't sure if she knew where I was. I, I figured she did, but... Damn. Die, woman. Come on. Ow. Need some more stamina. It's really good to have your, your, your thirst full, man. Like, for real. Because, like, that really just... Is awesome when it comes to stamina. Not expect you, you. That's it. Talk to the trader. Let's loot up. Scrap. What are those? What do those do? Uh, less noise. I kind of want to get him out of the. Out of oh, wait, what? Why can't I put him on my chest piece? Okay, well, whatever. Guess it's not that big of a deal. Cool thing about encumbrance is it doesn't matter when you're on a bike. Boom. Boom. And you. And you. And is there anything? Oh, oh yeah, there is. You damn right there is. Those, those, like, workstations have, like, the best loot. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. That was ridiculous loot. Okay, I think this is the last one. Oh, well, I could, that stacks, so. And I am completely full now. Can't even hold anything else. Before we turn in the quest, we're going to loot this right here. I found this on stream. And I was like, oh, okay. So I should probably loot that on my regular world as well. All right, let's see what we got here. Art of Might, we already have that one. This stuff is all mid. Definitely magazines, easy choice there. Well, I guess we're going to work on the horde base because I'm not doing restore power quests. Unless I want to do some tier ones. Um, ooh, bur you know what? Buried supply in a tier one wouldn't be too bad. You know what? Let's do it. Do a buried supply. It'll give me a lot of, uh, a lot of clay, which will be quite helpful and we'll just go do that right now uh, we're still gonna work on the horde base i'm gonna show you where the horde base is gonna be i'm gonna explain to you my thought process on how the horde base is gonna work and we're gonna do what we got to do to get it to get it started and um you know i was thinking about what i was talking about at the beginning of this episode with the um with the iron tools and everything uh you know yeah you don't get as you don't get more iron or stone or whatever per node but you do get more per hour like think of it as like per hour um, the only thing I'm I'm a little bit nervous about with using the iron tools is uh, the duct tape. Mm, uh, I do have 12 repair kits, but I don't know. Um, I'm gonna have to think about it. It depends on how fast I want to mine. Like, do I want to get? I mean, in the in the process of mining throughout the night, you are gonna get more resources. So, the iron tools aren't as bad as I was making out to be. So we're gonna have to do this. And every time this thing pops, it's going to call in a horde. Um, you know, not a horde, like a few zombies, not like a, not like a big horde, but we're just going to go ahead and do this. And, and these, these, um, quests are really good to do, man. Like do them early because they're only tier ones for some reason. I don't know why there's not like higher tier versions of this, but I guess I'm okay with it only being tier ones. But the thing is, this helps you get a lot of clay. And as you're like looking for this, you know, um, buried supplies, you're like, oh man, I wish I could find the buried supplies. And you're like, wait a minute, I'm getting clay. This, I mean... Every minute I don't find the buried supplies, I'm just getting more clay, and that's awesome. And every time you dig a certain amount of item, a, a certain amount of things, it'll uh, it'll pop, and the thing will get smaller, so it'll give you a better idea. Also, I ten, I've only done one buried supply. Oh, did I already find it? I did. Yep, they're buried deeper than usual. So, all right, as soon as you loot this, so check this out. It's always going to have food in it. One good... Well, I don't know about always, but it always seems to have one good food item, which is awesome. And it will spawn some zombies. You could choose to ignore these zombies if you want. I don't ignore them. I kill them because I want to. Oh, 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 there you go. 
Oh, he bled. <laughs> Suck it, nerd. There you go. Beautiful. Oh, that was actually really, really painless. Let's go turn it in. You know what? I'm going to do the other one, too. The hell with it. Too good. Oh, okay. So here we go. No magazine choice. Oh, 500 gunpowder. Right? Right? I'd be stupid not to take that. How many grenades would 500 gunpowder make? Or ammo? Uh, sorry. Grenades. All right, I'm not doing the math, but a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking the 500 gunpowder. Well, you did it. So that was the, the quest rewards are really interesting. All right, let's do the other buried supply quest. Buried treasure number two is about to get looted. And oh, no big food item, huh? Okay. Actually, this is a really weak one. All right. Well, I guess they're not all winners, but that's okay. Shoot, I can't get out of here. Hold on, there, guys. Hold on. All right. Now we can fight. That was scary. That was really scary. Do these guys like walk faster or is it just me? Those little skinny dudes. I feel like they walk faster. Oh boy. Especially when they're angry. All right, we need some stamina back. Oh boy. This one was a little bit farther away than the other one, but no big deal. When you have a bike. You know, if you're walking, it, it kind of sucks. All done. Let's go turn it in. Let's see what we get. Hopefully another 500 gunpowder. Um, okay, so no magazines, huh? All right. Uh, yeah, I got to take the ammo. All right, I will just wait for his jobs because I'm not doing any of that crap. I think what we're going to do now is we're going to go clear out the horde base. And the horde base is going to be a POI I'm going to take over and... You know, see if it works. It, it seems like a pretty strong POI. It's all its walls are like 5,000 hit points. So I'm hoping that I could use that to my advantage. Um, oh, hold on. Let's see what kind of magazines we get here. Spears. Repair. Seeds. Okay. Let's chop some stuff off and go over to the horde base. You know, I just realized I forgot to break into that safe earlier in the video. Darn it. Okay. Well, it is what it is. All right. So this is the building I'm going to use. Okay, and we got we got to clear it out. I can't do any building here. Can't my my idea is to clear it out and then maybe do some building during the night. But I got to clear it out before um, things start running. And I'm not sure if that's an actual mine right there or not. That could be a problem. I'll probably just shoot it just to just to see. Go. You're dead. You're dead. Oh, nice. Love the drops. They usually give you something pretty good. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we can do here. Yeah, I don't think that's a mine. But you know what? Just so we don't have to worry about it. Let's just work this out from underneath and it'll probably just drop. I just it, it looks like a mine. If that was on the ground, I would think it was a mine. Same thing with this one. All right, that's just a cooking pot. All right, cool. Kill. Cool. You know what? Let's not loot. Oh, oh that's a good thing to get. Let's not loot. Let's actually just kill everything before it uh before they start running. Okay. Boom goes the face. Ah, that thing's open. That's locked. Oh, daddy! All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm getting pumped. All right. I'm going to melee this guy. Let's get him. Not off to a good start. Oh, almost bit the farm there. Wait. Did I kill him with bleeding? I think I killed him with bleeding. <laughs> he was about to blow. Wow, that was lucky. Uh, stop looting. It's not what you're here for. You're here to kill everything. That. Get up. Sit down. There might be some guys above me. I'm pretty sure there is. Yep. Yep, there they are. Damn it. Opie dropped on me and did not fall. 
And luckily for me, I did not get hit. Wow. That was really lucky. Day five is my lucky day. Alright, let's get some hit uh, get some stamina back. Ow. Damn! What the hell? Why how do I keep missing? It's on me. Like I'm missing. I'm just asking myself, Cage, how do you how do you screw up that badly? He's bleeding. You can tell when they're yelling that they're bleeding. We gotta kinda hurry up a little bit here. Dog. Alright. Sneak. Snake's dead. I'm okay. Getting close to runtime. Not that close though. The only thing I don't like about like doing a POI like this when I'm not doing a quest, especially a kill quest, is I don't know when everything's dead. Alright, I will take some time to do this. Just in case I forget. Come on, you... Hurry up with the stamina. <laughs> Make some coffee or something. Alright, walk. You just can't sprint everywhere, man. That's all, that's all there is to it. Be surprised if I finish this tonight. Oh, that's the end loot. What the hell? There's no way everything's dead. Come on. Yeah, that's a that's a um, what do you call it? A, a ra not an irradiated a feral. Oh my. Okay. You know what? Shoot. Run! My guy was like refusing to run. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh my god! I'm not playing any more games here. Okay. Is everyone dead? <laughs> Please. Uh, you know what? Let's just go out and cure our infection. The abrasion, you know. The ab uh, we should probably go through. Now, let's cure the infection. I was going to say, we should probably go through while they're still not running. But, uh, here we go. These do 10%. Love it. Infection is cured. Suck on that, you freaking feral. They're called ferals, right? The, the glowy eyes? Pretty sure they are. You know, if you want to, like, really tell what they're called, you can just do this, and then go to F6, and type in feral. This is the spawn thing. You can spawn in zombies if you so choose. Those are called ferals. Irradiators are a different thing. Whole different thing. Oh, my goodness. Okay. About a little under an hour of no... You are hungry. Okay. Uh, am I hungry? Nah, I'm gonna wait. I can wait a little bit. Now, I think everything out of here is clear now. Because I shot the gun. I think it brought, like, everything down upon me. Hopefully. <laughs> it's pretty nasty. Like, I wasn't, like... I don't know, I just wasn't moving. Or I wasn't moving as fast as I wanted to. Oh, we got booze! Let's get the booze. All right, let's loot this up. I'm thinking next episode is probably going to be uh, horde base building because we've we've we have cleared this place out, and I would like to work here during the night. It'll give me something to do during the night. Uh, so, as long as there's no more zombies here, we should be okay. We should be okay. Should. That's the word. That's the word of the day. We still need polymer. Probably have enough now. Uh, do I want to tell you about the horde base yet? Nah. 
I'll make you wait for the next episode. Give you something to look forward to. It's a really interesting uh, POI here. Oh. <laughs> okay. Just trying to make sure there's no other zombies in the area. I don't need any more surprises while I'm trying to build. These trucks should have M60s. Haven't they ever seen Rambo? Can't ex you can't convince me that Mad Mole has not seen Rambo like a million times. You get a pocket mod, which is nice. Crap, I didn't go up here. We gotta hurry. You know what? Never mind. Never mind. I'm not gonna mess around with that part. Hopefully nothing comes down there while I'm trying to, like, work. But where I'm gonna be doing my work is going to be... Wait, how did I get out here? I don't remember how I got out here. Oh, through here. Where I'm going to be working is going to be in... Uh, this area over here. It's pretty far away from where I think any zombies will still be al alive. This will be the area I'm going to work in. So, let's loot this now. Well, it doesn't seem like there's a bunch of stuff in here. A handgun, yes. Robotics, yes. Can I make a pistol yet? Actually, I think I could make a pistol for a while. I just need the pistol parts. And I do... Or handgun parts. I'm pretty sure I have handgun parts somewhere. I'm pretty sure I can make a pistol now. Like a real pistol. Instead of that pipe pistol. Which is going to be awesome. Uh, okay. And where's my spears at as well? Let's take a look. Spears. Okay. So I think a quality three iron spear, I'll probably try and make one. Again, uh, like, I need to reiterate, we need to be able to see the stats on the spears before we make them. Because I really would prefer not to waste resources. Why is it so bright in here now? My brightness setting's normal. So, that's weird. Uh, yeah, alright. Let's go ahead and wrench this. Oh, pretty good stuff on that. Let's wrench this toaster. Maximum stat. Do I want to eat now? I'm going to wait a little bit longer to hell with it. I'm good. Forge ahead. Love it. Uh, wait, did I, did I, can I make a workbench now? Yes, I can. I should go do that now. Yeah, let's go do that now. So I don't have the handgun parts, or if I do, I'm not noticing them. I'll, I'll continue looking for them, but I don't think I have them. I think what happened is either I got handgun parts in my other world, and I'm just getting confused, or I was getting rifle parts thinking they were handgun parts. I don't know, but... Um, where am I going to put this workbench? I kind of think it would be pretty cool here. Or maybe in here. This, uh, this is a bedroom slash storage room. So yeah, I'll put it in here, I guess. It'll work. Right up against this wall. And here we go with the new workbench. Cool. Alright, uh, we will untrack that. And now we have a bunch of stuff I guess I can make in here. I don't know. I don't really know what I need the workbench for. I didn't need it for anything specific. But now I have it, and that is really good. It's on my way to chemistry station. I thought I needed it for something. I just can't remember what. Uh, you can make gun safes. Uh, you need it for mods of all kinds. Cool. All right, let's take a little bit of time here and go through where we're standing with the magazines. All right, harvesting tools looking great. I'll be able to make a, a quality three iron tool in one more magazine. Repair tools are looking pretty good. Uh, claw hammer's getting up. The, the, the claw hammer being better, I don't think means anything. At least it, it didn't in Alpha 20 because it's just upgrading stuff. So um, the big thing is going to be the nail gun. Um, salvaging stuff, not looking too great, but that's okay. Maybe I'll make a new wrench when I get to quality three. Uh, knuckles I don't care about, but there's knuckles, blades, clubs, sledgehammers, bows, spears. Yeah, we're getting there on spears. Handguns. We get a lot of handgun books for not having any points in handguns. Um, shotguns. By the way, the trader does have a shotgun. I want to buy it tomorrow. Hopefully I remember. Uh, there's the rifle. So I will be able to make the hunting rifle relatively soon. I did put points in a rifle, so I should be getting a lot more rifle books. So that'll be great. Honestly, the pipe rifle shotgun, I think is total trash. I don't think the hunting rifle is that good either. The lever action rifle is the one I really want to start using. Uh, explosives. Okay, so I can make grenades. That's awesome. That is freaking awesome. Uh, robotics armor. So yeah, it's gonna take a while for armor to matter. 
because this is just you know trash armor really um medical you know uh not really changed much food food hasn't changed either i've been getting a few food books but i guess the next one i'll be able to make whatever the next thing is there looks like pumpkin pie with like whipped cream on top or something um seeds yes this is something i'm interested in so i can't make corn seeds yet wait wait I, there's only one more seed book one more seed magazine i'm 13 of 14 i don't see anything else so are those last four gonna unlock when i get the last seed book or magazine i don't know uh don't care about that stuff or that workstations uh we'll make lock picks and five more books and vehicles um yeah, we're looking like, what, five more vehicles for the mini bike, Dude, if I can get five more vehicle magazines for the mini bike, that would be freaking awesome. I would really appreciate that. All right, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.